Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we share with you a simple DIY table and bench chairs. Inspired by American Girl's 2019 farmhouse restaurant, this craft is perfect if you want to update your doll's kitchen or create an outdoor area for picnics and barbecues. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to help our channel grow. Yay! I love a good picnic! Oops! Another drink? For bench legs, we bought four wooden letter X's that were on clearance in the Christmas decoration aisle of our local Kmart. They are 11 centimetres high by 10 centimetres wide. We pulled out the tassel embellishment and sanded the glitter off the bottom of each X. For the bench seat, cut a rectangle of 10 millimetre foam board. If you don't have foam board, you can substitute with cardboard. Measure and mark 5 cm from the outer edge on each side. Now draw a 1 by 15 cm rectangle in the centre area as seen. Cut out. We used an X-Acto blade. To mimic wood planks, we cut strips of paperboard. Place two shorter strips vertically on the outer sections of the bench and two longer strips horizontally above and below the rectangular gap. Adhere with liquid glue or glue stick. Leave a tiny gap between your strips to further mimic the look of wooden planks. To complete the bench, cut a rectangle of foam board for the under seat support beam. Hot glue the beam to the center of two X's, then attach this to the underside of the seat. Repeat to make a second bench chair. If needed, give your wooden legs an undercoat in white paint. Then paint the bench seats. We used Rust-Oleum spray paint in pastel peppermint to match the American Girl colour scheme. Now the chairs are done, let's switch to the tabletop. Cut a large rectangle of foam board for the tabletop. Two long, narrow rectangles and two short, narrow rectangles. Cover the tabletop with liquid glue or glue stick. Using a paintbrush is great for spreading the glue out to the edges and keeping an even coverage. Cut wide strips of cardboard to add detail. Place a vertical strip against both the left and right edge. Next, put a longer strip in the middle, then work outward to fill the tabletop. Let the glue dry, then paint a dark brown. Legs, we cut 9.5mm dowel rods to 21cm, then rolled them in computer paper to make them a bit thicker. If you don't have dowel rods, just roll paper tubes. Try making each leg 3-4 to four sheets of paper thick for strength and durability. The decorative feet are rubber chair tips from Bunnings. Paint everything cream. Flip the table over and mark on the underside where each leg will go. You need to leave at least 27 centimetres clearance so the bench can slide under the table. Carefully cut through the top foam board, then scoop out the foam. Hot glue the legs into the holes to anchor them. Following this, hot glue the two longer rectangles to the underside and leg tops. And repeat with the two shorter rectangles. Measure and make tick marks 4.5 cm from the bottom to guide us when placing support dowels on the shorter sides of the table. Again, you can always roll paper tubes if you don't have dowel. Paint cream to match. Now your dolls have a quaint farmhouse style table and bench chairs perfect for picnics and barbecues. For another project from Blair's collection, check out our DIY farmhouse kitchen video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.